Hi, boys and girls. Hi, all of you. It's so good to see you again. Did you miss us? Did you really miss us? We missed you. A little bit, <laughs> for the most part. This is our first program uh, in a of long our, time right. of our 10th season. This is our 10th year. To think year. that we would have lasted 10 years a in this decade. outfit. A decade. I know. We're the longest running cooking show on TV. And this tie is almost 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I've been wearing it almost the entire uh -huh. time we've been on television. I'm real proud it's held up real well, don't you think? And some of these vegetables that we're have using today have been around here old. for that long. Well, we're just real glad to see all of you again and welcome you to the first decade uh, of Cook and Cheap. It's amazing. We're, we're going to have some special things this time around. We've right. got the, the Cook sisters are going to be coming up a, yes. couple of, a couple of weeks, and they're going to be joining us from time to time. They're They've back. been in a health spa for mm -hmm. a long time. You remember they broke their hips and had to go to a home for a considerable period of time, but they did break out of the home. They've been in a health spa for over six months, and everything that could be lifted or tucked has, and they'll be back. I thought it was a home on the range. I remember that... Uh, <laughs> Sister thought she was a buffalo uh, there for a couple of weeks. But anyway, we are back. Oh, and we're going to be going some right. exciting places, too. We're going to be going out in the field to visit wonderful oh. folks. And to celebrate our 10 years on public television, we're going to be doing every show this year a wonderful big party. That's right. We'll have a party every time you see us for the next six or eight months. In fact, today is a celebration of a wonderful big brunch. Right. And that's what we're going to do. A big old brunch. Hit it. All right. Now, I, <laughs> well, that was so charming. And I'm so glad all that's over with. Uh, today, yeah, I'm going to do a tomato lime soup. Now, if you break that counter down with your heavy uh, <clears throat> tucus, <laughs> it'll be all over. I'm just going to sit down. I've had a rough day. I don't uh, know you, you don't know what rough is. All yeah. right. Well, I'm going to do uh, a chilled tomato soup with lime, and I hope it's good. I, I tasted it already when I made it uh, in advance, and it is delicious. So we've got to start out with two large carrots that have been undressed. So I've got... Beg your pardon? They're, they're undressed. They're signs, they're skin. They peeled, they've stripped, whatever you want to call it. All right. Here they are, and you've got to also peel an onion while you're at it. The place has gas. Oof. And while we're chopping, because we've got to chop, now this would be a real easy one to do in the uh, old uh, food processor if you had one. And of course we can't afford one here, although I did mine at home in a food processor. Now I've got a tablespoon of oil of the young olives that have been smashed and crashed until the oil dripped out of them. And of course it is that uh, kind of oil that we don't like to talk about because some of our people write in and complain that we use words that we're not supposed to use on TV, but virgin olive oil. So it's in there and it's going to get hot over some medium heat. Oh, I thought perhaps it was of the Olay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, we're not supposed to say that either. Uh, A lot well, of children, well, watching, we just they did. don't understand it. Well, anyway. All right. Now, um, we're going to cut up our onion and our uh, carrots into small size pieces and then we're going to cook them. And in a little bit we'll add some tomatoes and some other goodies uh, to this mixture. And Larry, do you want to play around a little bit while I'm just chopping up over here? I'm going to do a sweet potato pancake. Well, oh, I'm going to do more than one. I mean, sweet. otherwise we'd be fighting over it and all that. I'm going to do a whole bunch of sweet potato pancakes. Now you probably are aware of uh, mashed potato pancakes. You ever eaten potato cakes? They're really good. They really are. In fact, we have a secretary up front. We call her potato uh -huh, cakes, yes. remember? Uh -huh. But anyway. Uh, because of the cakes and, and uh, the, the other uh, part. Onion on her breath all the time. But anyway, we do have uh, some sweet potatoes here, which I just dug up fresh out behind the studio just a little while ago. Uh -huh. In our garden. <laughs> this we're, is, we're just like, uh, what, what, uh, what is can that Can you tell that, that this is probably going to become a running bit this year? I'm, what is I'm that? I'm going to do this every show, huh? What is that show on, on public health? This old garden? Garden. What's the, the the garden? You know, from up there in Boston at the yeah, high something, price print, something the like Victory that. Garden. Yeah, you know where they victory. always, you know, they pull all these things up that you know they just bought at the grocery store somewhere uh -huh. and, and go in and the lovely somebody, Mar Marion, yeah, the wife of the hu of the producer of the show, cooks them right before your eyes. Well, that's amazing. Uh huh. Well, we didn't do that. Now what we're gonna do <laughs> is we're gonna take <laughs> two cups 
of can uh, of not candy, <laughs> not candied Fresh. yams. No, I was going to say oh. candied. Oh, you're trying to put words in my mouth that wasn't going to be there to begin with. Uh, of 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 can candied yams, except without the candy part of it, or just sweet potatoes. And you take your fork and just smash them up, about two cups worth of them, as a matter of fact. And while you're doing that, we're going to be heating up a little bit of combination of uh, corn oil and a little uh, margarine over on the the hot thing next to me. Now, to that, two cups of mashed sweet potatoes, we add two eggs, one, and two. Boy, those are monster eggs. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what size are they? <laughs> those are the, the eggs that ate you. No, anyway. Uh, I don't know, just they're extra I just large. I a funny joke. They're about extra large. I, I don't buy regular ones anymore because they're too small. Regular eggs, a large egg now is this big. I've laid bigger eggs than that myself. Well, I know, and I've seen you do extra. Well, huh? you know what's happened? What? The government has got into it, and they've made all the egg producers lay off the steroids. Oh, is that so, what? Well? Yeah, so that we don't have any uh, chickens that are tiny, you know, looking like pro football players. Tiny eggs. Uh-huh. All right, now that's two eggs, and then a half a cup of coarsely grated onions. Except I'm not going to grate the onions, because what it says in this recipe is a dumb recipe. It says that what you have to do is you have to chop up a whole bunch of onions and then you got to put them in something to wring them out and, and put the juice in there. There is something called onion juice and I had some, I swear this is true, <laughs> I had some laying in my refrigerator so I'm just going to put some onion juice in there. Right. Just a little, be careful now, not too much. Put a little onion juice in there. And four teaspoons of unbleached all-purpose flour. Is that a teaspoon? I guess so. Four of them. And we may need to add some or take some away as we go along here, depending on how thick it gets. This is your thickening agent, and I'm thick of it. Now, later on, what we're going to do... Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about our agent. <laughs> what we're going to do later on also, this recipe doesn't call for this, but I, I'm also going to roll some of this in it. Oh, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to roll in it myself after a while. No, to sort of make a nice cake sometimes, Looks what you like might want to do. like elephants I saw the other night on one of those nature programs. Elephant Fitzgerald? Okay, no, no. and then we got uh, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. One teaspoon yeah, of ground roll in nutmeg. Anything, especially one nutmeg. One teaspoon of ground nutmeg. This is the good part. You know that nothing with a teaspoon of ground nutmeg in it could be bad. A teaspoon of curry powder. Ooh, I can't and, believe it. I know you're going to be excited about that. And up, oh, look at that. Safety comes through again, ladies and gentlemen. You never know when someone's going to get a bad load of curry powder to put them out. So you have to seal that stuff up for your protection. Because somebody would, might go through the store and open it up and put something. Oh, what is we it? hope not. Oh, let's not even talk about it. A half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. And I brought my pepper grinder along today, and I know it doesn't look like anything's coming out of there, but I swear if you look at it over a thing, you can probably see, see it in there. It's in there. But anyway, you got to take some of that and grind it up. You know, this grinder is real swell, but it doesn't grind. It grinds it too fine for me. Well, loosen up on it. I, I did the other day. It fell apart, and all the seeds came out in my fine dish. That's enough of that. I'm tired of it. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Well, I have given you the salt. Could I have some of it back? Here. Half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, curses. Half, half a teaspoon of salt. And that's got a lot in it, doesn't it? A quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. When I get my hands on Doris Ford. Ground red pepper. She said she doesn't want you putting her hands on her anymore. A quarter of a teaspoon. Ah, oh, where is it? No, she took <laughs> our cat over to her home right, so nobody would steal it, and she, I've got to use this thing. And that's why not, she's not here today. She said, I don't want him putting his hands on me. When I get hold of her. She probably took it with her because she needed to protect it. And eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. She took butter. it home for Harold to fix it. <laughs> eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. Well, I can't get butter. anything out of here. This and eight tablespoons of vegetable shortening. Well, that all goes in there. Now what we got to do is mix all that up and then we're going to smack that down into little patties, little cakes, and then we're going to put it on top of the stove. My butter and my oil is, is getting hot right now. And we're going to fry those little babies. Well, I'm not little babies, but these little pancakes. And we're going <laughs> to... 
I just seem to get in the worst trouble well, all the time. Well, you remember Ray down. Charles. Well, yeah. it's frying time. Oh, I guess that's we're going to eat you. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> it's just disgusting. Most disgusting thing I've ever seen. i tell you what I like to do now when I'm making these things up a little bit. I like to just kind of like <laughs> spread me out a little bit here. What am I going to do? I can't get into this can. I need to put a little more in there, I believe, because they're not as thick as I'd like for it to be. Now, one of the good things you're supposed to do is set this in the refrigerator for an hour or so, and that's so it'll firm up again, and also so the all the flavors <laughs> will go through the meat of the potato. Are you having a good time doing something No, else? I'm not. I hate every minute of this, Doris. <laughs> you will get it. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Now, be nice. Now, Doris has been nice to us. Yes, she has but I can't believe she took that can out in her home, even if it did belong to her. Now there's your first cake. <laughs> Half of it fell off. I'm gonna take that in there and fry that thing. All right? I'm just rolling it around a little bit in the flour here. It is a real mess because I got it a little bit thin. You know, I believe those eggs were a little big. <laughs> Well, I'm now, while sure you're doing that, I'm going to drain two one-pound cans of tomatoes. If I can... Oh, thank the Lord. Lord, this is the biggest mess I've ever done. I'm going to put some more in there. <laughs> if and I add a little Now, more while to they're in the colander, I'm going to cut them up. And I learned to do this last week. What's that? Cut up the stuff. To get in a colander? No, I had some real ugly teenagers show me how to do this. An ugly teenager. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now all the ugly teenagers will be right now. Well, huffy. what else is new? Well, but I'll you start. have to cut them up here in the colander and so they can drain out. And then you're going to put them in with your carrots and onions, which are sautéing over here. And I hope not burning up too bad. You don't want them to, you just want them to get transparent, not... Do, do, do. Well, there's the last of my little cakes I'm putting in there. I'm going to put that in there, too. Little baby cake. And we're just going to fry them all in there real good. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Making fun of my cakes. They'll do fine. Just uh -huh. put them in there and fry them real good. And don't hurry them any, either, because you've got to cook you, them all the way you through. You can't hurry cakes, right? <laughs> You just have to wait, because cakes don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. I don't know what it means. Anyway. Now I've got to have a cup of chicken stock, which is easier said than done out of this. You know, the wonderful thing about this dish is, even if it doesn't get done, it's good raw. Oh, no. It is. Well, I mean, what could be raw? I mean, the, the, the things are pre-cooked. What could possibly hurt you? Now you've got to have one cup of chicken broth. Ah, oh, it reminds me of down by the old mill street. <laughs> we used to be down there all the time. And that goes in. Uh -huh. to the, uh -huh. <laughs> now you have to cook this until all of your carrots get tender as the night. Another and, good song, I might uh, add. We'd and, sing it, but we don't have. And right while we're doing that, I am now going to uh, get together the other things that have to go on this dish, namely the lime juice. One juicy lime. Ooh, some corruption down in here. I'm cleaning off my area. Oh, I'm so glad. Because I, I might have to leave in a hurry and I don't want to Yeah, you need about three staff. tablespoons full of this lime juice, which is a... What is it you're making? Soup. Oh, okay. I just kind of lost track. All right, now, after this is cooked, we'll pretend this is cooked for a long spell, you want to put in here uh, a, a cup of chicken broth, which we put in, a pinch of shug shug, as Bly so wants to say. Are you real happy with this recipe? Have you tried it in advance? Yeah, it's and are tasty. you real thrilled about it? Yeah, it's Is it really? Right. Yeah, it's Would good. you serve it to me if I came over? Oh, I'd serve anything to you. Where is that salt? <laughs> uh right here in front of you. All right. Oh. <laughs> and we need about a teaspoon of salt. I hope these aren't burning. And I hope they aren't too. Oh, I got to turn this baby up. There we go. 
Oh, they all look right. awful. Well, no, they look all right. That's an awful lot of flour coating on them, though. Well, that's not going to hurt anything. Well, Might know. gum you up a little bit. Right. <laughs> and now we got to have, okay, we got to have some pepper in here. Was that the way I here. could handle them? They got yeah, so maybe, juicy. Uh, maybe a quarter or a half teaspoon of pepper. I like it zingy. Mm. Right. Well, and, there's two of them. That and this is our lime good. juice that we're going to put in. That's three tablespoons or of lime juice or the juice of a lime. Put that in there. And then we got to have some freshly chopped parsley. This recipe does go on so, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it does. You have said it. You're just on and on and on. But anyway, you get a, uh, a tablespoon of this stuff and then you need uh, a, a tablespoon of fresh herbs or a half teaspoon of dried herbs of some kind. And I thought today I would use some tarragon. All right, now. Oh, that's there's my favorite. Some parsley. I love tarragon. And I'll stir that in here. And then we'll put in uh, about a half a teaspoon of tarragon and a healthy dash of Tobasco. Tobasco, Tobasco, we've helped and added Tobasco. Now there we are. We're going to stir all of this up real good. And as I said, now after this has cooked for about a half an hour and your carrots are tender, then you let it cool off a little bit and you will add to it one and a half cups of low fat or non fat yogurt and run it through your food processor and then let that mixture chill overnight and your soup will be there and will be ready. This so is a cold soup? This is a cold soup, cold as cold can be. Hmm. I so, love cold soups. Oh, so do I. I'm real partial to them. Well, I guess it's a good thing I am. Looks like that's what I'm going to uh, have to eat. You're going to have to eat whether, whether you not. like it or not. Right. That's you right. got it. Well, All these right. potato cakes are just looking beautiful. They really are. I've got nice and ground, uh, well, gra let's brown get our, on the edges. Uh, let's get our uh, recipes. Got up. a little so flour on everybody them. Everybody get your pencil and paper ready. Mm. All right. Now here it goes. We'll go as slow as we can. Chilled tomato lime soup. A tablespoon of olive oil. One large onion chopped. Two large carrots, peeled and chopped. Two 16 ounce cans of tomatoes, drained and chopped. One cup of chicken broth. A pinch of, of sugar. Now we, uh, the lovely Carol, our directoress, put a pinch of salt because that's what was uh, on our uh, recipe, but it was a typo and should be sugar. But that's all right, Carol, we love you and it wasn't your fault. You're completely absolved of sin. Now, we won't hold it against Carol. Uh, Too much. Even though you did uh, stupidly not realize it in advance. So, and however, then salt and freshly ground pepper if you've got it. If not, regular pepper out of the cans, all right. Then one and a half cups of plain low-fat yogurt. Three tablespoons of fresh juice of the lime. One tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley. One tablespoon of chopped fresh basil if you've got it or it could be uh, crumbled dry for a half, for a teaspoon, and a dash of uh, Tabasco, and that's uh, the recipe. Perhaps you ought to read that again, Laban. Uh, oh, I can't see it that good. <sighs> sweet potato pancakes, two cups of smashed sweet potatoes, and to that you add some eggs. I would suggest you use just them little old eggs. Don't use those big ones like I did, because I had to throw a powerful lot of flour to them to get them under control. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of coarsely grated onions, which you squeeze the juice of into this mess. So I just went around that and used onion juice. You got it on hand. Go ahead. Four teaspoons of unbleached all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of curry powder. A half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter of a teaspoon cayenne red pepper. Eight tablespoons of unsalted butter and vegetable shortening for cooking it in two. These are pretty. Look at these. Oh, they are. They They're really are. They sort real of good. cooked out real pretty. Do you syrup later. on them or something? No, you just eat them like you eat any other potato cake. I reckon you could, though. No mm -hmm. reason why you shouldn't. Sure. I, I wouldn't think so. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see 
the combination of flavors of uh, the sweet potato uh -huh. and the onion. Well, let's go on over here to the well, table. Are I we going to have the kitchen witch oh, come in? Oh, Ms. Swear. Witch, I swear, our first show and I forgot it. her. Yes, he already I has left her out. witchy woman, come on in. I don't know. And she said whoop. something about, oh, oh, there she is. Okay. Said something about oh, riding a motorcycle in better this year. Looking. She was going to ride a motorcycle yeah. in this year. But, uh, Dear men, we, the children of your audience, where? demand that you do a party for us. Nobody ever pays attention to us kids except when we are involved in drugs or something illegal. <laughs> we want to party hardy, chumps. And it's signed, Billy and the Kids. Okay, next week we'll do a children's party. Mm. You cook the ones under one and I'll cook the infants, all right? Let's uh, go on over here and I, I'll go because I've got to dish out my soup and decorate it. And we've got some mail and a magazine. Can I go too? Sure. Oh, all right. Go I, too. I thought you were telling yeah, me that I couldn't, I couldn't do it because you were having to. I don't know. Excuse me. <laughs> Terrible. I'm caught. Oh, I'm so afraid I'm going to... I'll keep that away from there, okay? Because mm -hmm. otherwise we'll melt it down real well, while good. While I'm decorating <laughs> this, why don't you tell everybody about the... Uh, <clears throat> I will. We have, in the past couple of months, prior to the, our first program of the season, appeared in one of these unnamed... Can we name it? Oh, sure. I'm sure ahead. we can, the National Enquirer. And there's a picture of Laban right on... Oh, no, wait, no, no, wait a minute. No. Oh, that's, that's wrong. I believe that's somebody else. Oh, inside, we have our own recipes in there. What was this one? This was uh, an August uh, edition. And there's a lovely picture of Laban. And, no, 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 wait no, a minute. That's, that's you. Uh, or is that your sister? That's Linda Evans, oh, I yeah, believe. Right. They didn't run our picture. They just ran my chicken. Oh. That's all they ran. But we did. We had a whole bunch of recipes in there. Tasty dishes that won't take a big bite out of your budget. Budget-conscious cooks can whip up delicious meals on a shoestring with these simple recipes from the Cooking Cheap Cookbook by Laban Johnson, Larry Bly. Right there. Oh, I, it was, it was real nice. If you give me that plate, I will also All set right. some of this right uh, over and there so you can This taste. is a letter from James Sherl of Chesapeake, Virginia, who says, Dear cooks, I enjoy watching your show because it is informative and entertaining. The recipes you offer are valuable because they are simple and their ingredients are easy to obtain. What is best on your show, however, is the humor. Your approach to cooking is fun and entertaining. Uh, project is a welcome addition to the usual fair as formal two serious cooking programs. Well, James, thank you so much for saying so many nice things. Anybody say anything nice over there? No, not really. Uh, it says, tell that big one that he makes me sick. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't no, say that. No, no, no. It says, uh, gentlemen, the way you cook makes cooking look like so much fun. And that's from Sandy Grubb of, of Abingdon, Virginia. Oh. Well, we have some others too, but I want to yeah, give well, this let, stuff yeah, a try. Let's, well, isn't let's, this a lovely presentation? Uh -huh. Well, it was pretty until you put your spoon in it. Well, I have to eat it, don't I? What am I supposed to do? Drink it out of the cup? Very delicately. Hmm. Here. Yeah, we'll give this. Well, that is a respectable soup. Uh -huh. Taint bad. It's it's very interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I think I kind of like that. Not bad. Well, let's try this potato pancake. A sweet potato pancake. I wish I had the maple syrup, though. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it tastes like it's missing something. Uh huh. <laughs> the maple syrup. I believe it. <laughs> you know what I do? I believe it needs more sugar. I didn't call for any, you know. Mm -hmm. Didn't call for no. any no, whatsoever. I, I think it, it, it's a little, a little maple little, syrup flour. Yeah, just I'll swear it is a little flour. You got to flour the edges of it a little bit. You do that with a regular potato pancake. But it is uh, mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Would you cook this at home? No, uh, I don't. Hardly worth the effort. Well, anyway. Well, <laughs> what else is new? Well, it's it's okay. Come back again, will you? Yeah, it'd be a good idea. Again, bye.